Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play XCOM 2012. And when we last left off, we were slowly progressing towards the enemy craft. Apologies for this episode being a little bit later than usual. I have had a friend over the last few days. Good times, but it has meant that this upload has been slightly delayed. Still, thank you for your patience. I am fine. If you were worried, so don't panic. Panicking is bad. As there doesn't seem to be anything, and we're just assaulting this craft anyway, we shall have the sniper advance to the door. It is a good place to advance to, for that is where we are going. We'll also have Zhang Overwatch, because he can. The spider also advances, ready to overwatch with his own laser rifle. Oh, there's enemies to the left. Did you hear that? What trickery is this? What was that? It's a good question, but for now we need Bubbles. Because Bubbles knows how to open alien doors. Behold! And there's nothing inside. Took a while for it to realize, but hey. Well, apparently there are aliens over here, so what do you reckon, Zhang? Do it, be a DLC man. And Overwatch. Just like anybody else. Okay. Well, also the spider advance. Because there's no wall on this window, we can advance in another direction, which is slightly more favourable. The sniper shall also advance to here. And Overwatch with his impressive laser pistol. Stop attacking the insects! I heard something moving. There's definitely something over there. But as for now, we have to press on. Isn't that right, spider? I thought so. Prepare to overwatch and advance. We will have bubbles advance. There doesn't seem to be anyone inside at this particular time. But we shall be cautious because we are XCOM operatives and we are frail. Speaking of XCOM operatives, this particular one, Zang, needs to get to cover. Uh, this place seems good. Still can't see any enemy aliens. We shall see what happens now. Nothing! Let's rotate the camera again. Oh. Doesn't, doesn't give you much freedom, but it's there. There's no door there at all. You might as well have Spider move there, ready to position himself for the next room. We'll also do the same for KOR. Excellent. Kieran shall move here, providing Overwatch support. And now Zack, looking for aliens. They're really hiding. Here ah, we found the aliens. Watch as we flank them, and then they move so we can't flank them anymore. This is XCOM. So for now we just have to settle with killing this alien. A satisfying kill. Enemy destroyed. My gun is empty. Well, reload your gun, Zhang. That is my suggestion to you. Also, don't die. That would be annoying. Ah, here they come. The remaining sectoids. On Overwatch. As, well, as for KOR, we're going to go back to Zhang for the moment. It's a bit more exciting. We could fire a rocket launcher and just kill them all at once. This is more direct. I like direct. There won't be anything left. Well, that's right. I have no ammunition. And you killed two aliens and had a promotion doing it. Nice work on the promotion. And this room is completely empty. Well, that's good, I suppose. We'll have the sniper get ready for entering the next room. Snipers have the most damage after all. Well, actually, no laser men do too. So we'll have we'll have Bubbles position himself in a, a good place too. A good place. We'll also have Spider position himself behind that little deck thing there. Doing the DJ. DJ! DJ Spider! Ooh. That, that's totally what DJing is like. Anyway, what's in here? Oh, it is the light outside of the thingy. And it runs over there. Well, um... 
I suppose, Kieran, can you headshot the thing? Oh, I don't like your chances. Give it a shot. I missed. Damn it. Well, it was worth a shot. Well, dang, you can reload your S MLG. How's that? I am ready. Now it's your turn. Fifteen percent chance to hit. But hey, it's there. Damn but, but Bubbles has a different plan. He's going to suppress this target, preventing it Come from on. doing anything Show silly. Me. If it moves, it's going to get shot. And it didn't move. So now we get to fire again. Kill it! That was a miss. No way that just it just happened, I'm afraid. Embrace the facts. And meanwhile, Zhang tries to dash forwards, getting closer to the XCOM squad. So what do you reckon, Spider? Can you make the kill? No, but you destroyed some cover. This Damn, is good. We're now flanking this thing at a chance of 69%. I'm gonna take it. Kill confirmed. Nice work, Bubbles. Objectives completed. That's an operation completed. No deaths. Whoa! And eight aliens killed. Meanwhile, we get to go through yet another excruciatingly long Sky Ranger sequence. Enjoy it. Count the number of frosters. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> and the number of blinking lights. Lights are also important. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think there's two more on the bottom. What do you reckon? Post your comments and we'll see who's right. It's the most ridiculous thing I ever said. <laughs> no, don't do it. Don't do it. Okay, here we are. Oh, there's more blinking lights. There's red ones too. Oh, uh, you may never know how many blinking lights. Impressive lights. work, Commander. Our soldiers have to be feeling good after a mission like that. Yes, they should, because they are huh? also, including Zhang, with the will to survive, gaining the ability to reduce normal damage by two by merely looking angry. That is how. That is how. Chrissy I know works. it wasn't easy, but this could really be a turning point in our research. Not only can we interrogate the subject, but bringing an alien back alive provides us with a much better understanding of their physiology. <sighs> Impressive work indeed. Preparations in the containment facility are well underway. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I'm proud of you. So, um... Awesome. We actually can get the plasma pistol too. I'm very wrapped about the plasma pistol, if I'm honest. Plasma pistol! How long does it take? We should begin interrogating the alien subject immediately. I'm confident we can safely house it within the containment facility. But I can't say for how long... Well, look at it. I mean, it's just sitting there. Seriously, it's just sitting there going... Hey, guys. What's going on? Hey. What are you doing to me? Why am I in this chamber? What is the meaning of life? Why am I always gold? Why are you all looking at me? Don't you all have your, like, your own lives? Or are you stuck here too? Let's break out together. My name's Larry. Anyway, pressing ever so swiftly on because we don't really care about what the aliens think, we're going to mission control and scanning for activity. Commander, the council is requesting a direct link on the security. Is it Dang Plank again? I don't care! Just keep going! Thank you, assign you research. We can now build nanofiber vests. We're not going to. Now we have billions of research topics we can pick. And I must admit, I do want to know which one gives the satellite nexus. Very tempted to use my info screen here to look up what is the prerequisite for satellite nexus. Behold as I do so while rambling on about stupid things, but the internet be slow. Why are you so slow, internet? Well, as the internet's being slow, we're not going to look up satellite nexus. But we are going to check how long it takes to do the sectoid on... Um, no, that's the plasma pistol. 43 days?! Oh, that is way too long. I mean, seriously, even the... Even the precision lasers take less time. Even the carapace armor takes less time. Carapace armor, though, we do want badly. That is a big want as soon as we've got uh, a few more scientists, because that is a long way. Still, though, it's a good buy if we can get it going. Internet's still playing up. Satellite Nexus. Please, 
Who's bug shit? Okay, we're just gonna go for the sectoid. Interrogate the sectoid. It's only gonna take six days. Meanwhile, the internet started cooperating. Hey, look! She's going to interrogate the sectoid. How do you think she's gonna do it, everyone? Uh oh, the, the chambers are opening, and out comes gigantic speakers! It's, it's, it's playing Spice Girls! No! That's the most effective, uh, effective version of uh, interrogation I've ever heard of. So, um, so clearly, so clearly we just need to press on very clearly. <laughs> clearly. Let's just keep uh, scanning for activity, shall we? Ignoring gangplank of abduction sites. Commander, we're receiving several urgent requests for assistance. There are abductions in progress at each marked site on the Hologlobe. This is not good. We got a sniper, scientists from Russia, and money from South Africa. Quite frankly, Russia's got the least panic, so they're going to be ignored. Canada or South Africa? Quite honestly, the money from South Africa could be quite pleasurable. Let us check the Doom Tracker. We got plenty of pips left in the Doom Tracker to go, but um, yeah. I'm not sure. The United States is looking pretty sus. Egypt's also looking pretty sus. But Nigeria's okay. Quite possibly the best effort is to go for Canada. But we kind of have a pretty decent squad going already. How about we go for South Africa? Because the money will be very useful. Silent abductions for South Africa. Confirmed. And everyone seems to be ready, but as we are... As Quicksilly is back on duty, I will bring her along because I want her to be promoted. Her loadout, of course, she will have a proper, proper pistol. And she needs a scope. Where is, where is the scope? Seriously. Give the girl a scope. As the alien attacks have become more frequent, our casualty rate has climbed. Our troop shortage is becoming a problem. We should start screening potential candidates at the barracks immediately. Oh, yes, we should. But you do that, I'll actually win the game. Okay, thank you. Now we shall leave for mission. Where is mission control? Mission control, alien abductions, South Africa confirmed. And a unit. We have scope now? Now we allow scope. Yay. Let us now launch the mission. Got a good mix of soldiers there. I wonder, I wonder what Spider's gonna get when he promotes. Let's begin the assault, shall we? We're heading to South Africa for this one, and we need to get down there. Operation fast. Driving Days. It's clearly some you sort of a local broadcast indicating alien activity within a major traffic jam of some area. kind. We should get down there and eliminate any hostiles. Although for once, the mission name is actually fitting because we're at a petrol station. So, well done, random number generator. Well done. I'm getting hotter and hotter the longer I stay in here recording. Okay. Quickly, kill the aliens. Central, this is Big Sky. Strike team is touching down now. Standing by for your Actually, orders. that's just a, it looks like a shipping green container. Five by five. Strike one has the green light for deployment. Just shut up, Central, seriously. KOR shall advance. Enemy Immediately inside. gaining visibility of floaters. The floaters are already appearing to have taken some damage. One floater is at, like, in ridiculously close range, so we shall immediately They're kill them. They're trying to us. <laughs> that's one dead floater. But so they can see the other floater quite comfortably, and so shall now eliminate it. I'm about to start keeping score. You do that. While we wonder, why did that plasma, plasma gun just literally fly across the whole map? I'm not kidding, it just flew. It was nuts. I'm going to have you take position here for now. It's a reasonable spot. We'll have Quicksilver get up there later. Or alternatively use a ladder to get onto high ground as well. Now, as for Zhang, DLC man, shall advance to here and also overwatch. Thank you, Mr. Zhang. Now we've discovered some sectoids, and Major Zhang already takes his first reaction shot. And that's one dead sectoid. Bubbles is already ready to fire. 
been a pretty good chance to hit, so we'll take it. Took out the box, which sets up a shot for somebody else. Such as Quicksilly, who shall now advance. She will have this man advance. And we'll come back to him, and Quicksilly shall get back up in here. She's got squad sign on both, but she will just use the plasma pistol. Sorry, the laser pistol. And take out this one. Dealing an impressive six damage with that pistol. Love it. Anyway, we're going to press on. I'm happy with him remaining there for now. We'll have Zhang advance. And he shall now overwatch. He's got a pretty good chance, but we'll overwatch with him. And we'll get Spider to have a shot, because he needs to get experience, let's be honest. He missed, that's okay. Negative damage. They're attempting to retreat. Well, they failed because he just stood still. On your bubbles. Out of the game. Keep up the good work. Quicksilly shall now advance. She does not gain any additional visibility, so she shall now overwatch. But it's a good spot for her. She gets a nice coverage of the whole area. And there's the petrol station I was talking about. Still, let's press on. Zhang still has no new visibility, so he'll continue to overwatch. And Spider, well, the Spider has other plans, but I haven't worked out what those are yet. So Kaiwa, his movement spheres have completely disappeared, so can we have them back, please? Excuse me, bugs, stop, stop fussing. Oh, he's already shot. That makes sense. I take it back. Now Spider gets to overwatch. Island activity shall now occur. But so far all is well in XCOM land. We'll have KOR take position inside the truck. Getting extra visibility. He'll also take this opportunity to reload. Back online. Excellent work. Quicksilly can't see anything, but for now she will not take her move. Because if we see something, we can shoot it manually. Zhang shall now advance to the thingy. It's not going to be named the thingy. We shall call it the thingy from now on. As we still can't see any enemies, we shall now overwatch of the sniper rifle. Snipers should either shoot first or shoot last, depending on how the situation goes. That's what my I say anyway. Bubbles shall now continue to advance, still gaining no additional visibility. Unless they're here. Oh, I don't know. But now we'll let Quicksilly pass. Now Zhang shall move here. I have a visual on the Gaining target. some visual at last. It is only sectoids. Sectoids are reasonably benign. What do you think, Quicksilly? 71% chance to hit? Take it. That's a nice shot, and an excellent promotion, which is what I wanted to see. So far, this mission has been an excellent training exercise. Can we continue to keep the good times rolling and get Spider promoted? I hope so. Because Spider deserves to be promoted. He deserves it. What do you deserve? You all deserve promotions. In life. In general. Consider yourself promoted right now. I bestow upon you promotion. Because I am a lord. I can do that. KOR is continuing his flanking. I'm being attacked by bugs again for suggesting that I can just increase everyone's life. That is the price I have to pay for increasing your quality of life. That's ridiculous. Oh, the reaction fire. What does it do? They have identified me. They have? And what this means vehicle on fire. is the vehicle is on fire. At the very end. We get you to move here because the vehicle is, is on fire. We've identified this. Quicksilly gets to shoot again. Well, you've already shot, so yeah, fair enough. Well, we won't get you on fire, Spider, because I consider that to be a bad, a bad idea. Might mean that Zang gets shot at, but as it's only a sectoid, their confidence is shaken. Not too fast, but yeah, that's the thing. It's too damaged. But their confidence is shaken, according to Mr. Zang. There goes a car explosion. Spider still can't see this particular sectoid, though. We'll have Zhang advance. 
I have an enemy in sight. Ah, thin man. Lots of them. Lots of them clipping through walls, too. They jump in weird and obscure locations. But that is okay. We have good visibility of all of them. We can probably kill one this turn. Which one is the first to die? I vote for this one on the roof, because he's being annoying. Thank you, Zang. Now it's Quixilly's turn. What can you eliminate for us this turn, Quixilly? You've got good accuracy on all of the enemies, which I, I like. I like a lot. What about to kill one of the rear fin men? What a headshot. Make it so. Hurrah indeed. That was a brilliant headshot. I love it. Now, Spider, can you fix this sectoid problem we seem to be having? You got visibility? 25% chance to hit. Make it so. Ah, oh, you hit the waste bucket. But that's okay. You're cleaning up society. That was a terrible joke. I mean, really bad. Uh, we'll have to have you dash, unfortunately. And I don't like dashing, especially with thin men. Thin men have a, a nature of being just sneaky. And as there's no other cover, we'll just have you overwatch. Or have you rash here. A little bit of a safer dash. With that shiny crotch. It's important, you know. This guy goes upstairs too. A little bit of a goit. Don't kill anyone, please. It hurts. It hurts, the pain. Now the sectoid tries to deploy interesting maneuvers. I am taking fire. Ah, but the wall was too strong for sectoid. Interestingly now, KOR has a chance to hit this thing, so we'll give him a shot. Ah, you missed. Damn it, missed the target. Quixilli for once can't actually make a shot here, which is a little bit sad. But we'll see what we can do. Here's a 25% chance to hit that one. Can we get him to kill the sector? Make a kill for this man. Get him to move here. Here is a good spot. Now he regains visibility of the sectoid. Make it so. I shot the car. But hey, cleaning up society with more property destruction. Quixilly shall advance. Ah, gaining squad sight that we were talking about earlier. And it made, interestingly she has 51% chance to hit, despite everyone else's being closer. Apparently she can't do that with her laser pistol though. Still, it's getting a bit annoying for Zhang. So Zhang shall, in a fit of rage, just hit the top of the shop with a rocket launcher. I mean, it's it's direct, but that's that's Zhang. And that's a dead fin man. Seriously though, if this detector does not die soon, we are going to just kill it directly. It looks like it's panicked though. It's panicked. Alright, you got one last chance, Spider, to prove yourself. To kill a sectoid. Do it. Make it so. You got one last clip in your gun. You got a 26% chance to hit. Do it. And you failed. Oh well. No round. Damn it. Enemy is still alive. It's okay. I am not judging you. Instead, we shall deploy other maneuvers. We're going to let him make another move first. First, Quixily. Pulls out a sniper rifle for one last, one last attempt at a sniper shot. And once again she just steals the kill from everybody else. See in hell. Weapons empty, can't engage. Everything by the numbers. That was a, that was a great operation. Operation Driving Days. Loved it. Even though Spider wasn't able to get a promotion this time around, he survived. That was good. Survival is a thing that is good in XCOM. If everyone survives, well then we've won. By X definition. So, uh, keep surviving, everyone, and enjoy your promotion. Yes. Meanwhile, I'll keep saying random things while the Sky Ranger continues to move. And the sound cuts out and then comes back in later. Because that is normal for XCOM. Hey, it's XCOM. Oh, Russia's panicked. That is not Russia. Canada's panicked. Unfortunately, we're going to have to let one of these nations go. That's not sad. Oh, wait. He survived enough missions to get a promotion anyway. He's a support class. Well done. You are now normal. And Quicksilly gets an extra shot. We have the battle scanner or the disabling shot. 
It is a tough call, to be honest. Basically, the disabling shot says, yeah, you lose your primary weapon. And it does a normal shot's worth of damage. It can't crit, but hey, it's there. The alternative is a battle scanner. If everyone's advancing, we can create a new source of vision. We can't actually use that to shoot people, but you will be able to see things. It can be quite useful. For me, I will go of the battle scanner. Even though disabling shots usually recommended, I'm going to go of the battle scanner. Which is quick silly, just like scanning things. That's quite an awkward character trait. We will be in touch, Commander. Alas, we are. As soon as this pop up goes, we can click on the situation room. Russia and Canada aren't looking very happy. And this is a regrettable but true fact. I'm not going to be able to do much about it, apart from maybe the occasional council mission that keeps reoccurring every two missions, every two days. So we might lose Russia to the aliens. This has some sort of doom feel about it, because let's face it, that's. Well. You know. The Russians have, like, nukes and stuff. Giving them to aliens just seems a bad idea. As Canada doesn't have nukes, at least as far as I know. But I have friends in both Russia and Canada. Okay, friends in both countries. Start running now, okay? Start running now. Meanwhile, back at the ranch. Uh, there's not much else we can do, so we're just going to scan for activity. We have an incoming transmission from the council. Let me guess, it's Operation Gangplank. Oh, no, not going to do it. Not until we have armor. When we have armor, then maybe. Fortunately, finally, we now have room we can build things on. For example, we can now build this up as a training school. But first, something more important. How much does power does it use? It uses three power, and we have plenty of it. And I do want to get nexuses for these areas here. But it's like, how much time will they take the nexuses to complete? So, hmm... That's a lot of money. For now, we'll go for power. Power costs 200. We're not going to be able to get both, but for now, we'll go for the officer training school because we can afford it. We'll begin in construction. We may be able to start something else if we sell something. Uh, grey market. Sell some corpses. There are a lot of bin men corpses. Oh, I gotta sell this lot too. Hey, we got money! Cash money! We can continue to build facilities like this thermogenerator. Woo! Power's not gonna be a problem anymore. And I really want that Nexus. But Nexus involves research, and research is not going along fast. We're still subjecting the sectoid to. Where is it? Oops, it's locked in. We're still subjecting the sectoid to concentrated versions of Spice Girls. So... Commander, our satellite is prepped and standing by for launch. We are ready to deploy it on your orders. We'll carry on for now. Let's check our hangar situation. Actually, no. Situation room. We have interceptors stationed in those both of these areas, which is good. But do we have them situated in North America? No. Just Africa and Asia. In that case, yes, it's Russia or Canada. Ah, the choice is quite clear, unfortunately. I want the scientist. So, I'm sorry, Canada. Air and space is actually not a bonus I want, but I would like expert knowledge. So, you also give me more money. The choice is clear. Save the Russians. Facilities at maximum capacity. And their panic Additional has been reduced. Required. Hopefully, Canada doesn't get invaded by aliens. Keep it together, Canada! Oh, is it Gangplank again? Priority one, request from the priority one? How about priority zero? Oh, here we go. The alien died from all of this thing we so, did. How'd it go, Doctor? Better than expected. Before the creature expired, I was able to extract some new information from it. You're saying that thing spoke to you? How it screams. Not precisely. But when you have access to a creature's brain, certain patterns can be discerned, recent images and thoughts. And what exactly was our late friend thinking about? This particular image appeared in the creature's thought patterns several times throughout the procedure. We've already met that thing, Doctor. 
This is hardly the kind of breakthrough we were... And there was a neural link in the creature's mind between this image and this one. That's the thing that pulled a disappearing act when we shot down our first UFO. And let me guess, you want to poke around in its head too. It is the next piece of the puzzle. And this time, instead of shooting it, I suggest we try to capture it alive. You want another thing alive, do you? Well, that's a happy state of affairs. We get to a science and new research and then we'll call it a video. Your new objective couch for an outsider. Ah, but we've got a credit for beam weapons. How long does it take now? Where is it? Precision lasers? It's half the amount of time it takes. Oh, it's so tempting. So tempting. Where's math computer? 15 days. Now this is the the strategy versus tactics decision. I can go for better weapons, or I can start on the path towards more satellite coverage. I'm thinking the state of affairs at the moment, we actually won the last combat. I'm going to start the research on the alien flight computer. We should be focused on capturing this strange alien creature, one that seemed to form around the crystal we discovered when we shot down the first UFO. It's all we have to go on at the moment. I understand, Doctor. But what you don't understand is that it's time to call it a video. So when we come back, we'll see what happens, shall we? We'll have a satellite operation over Russia, which will be good. An officer training school. Perhaps unlock some important upgrades. Having more subscribers on the field at one time. And the counter report is due soon. When we come back, we'll continue to play XCOM 2012.